It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture, you gotta be fly Well flowing with the Air Forces, put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over Adidas, that's true What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today is Saturday, November 19th, and we all know what came out today. We had the Air Jordan Retro 1 Chicago Lost and Founds, and I must say, Sneakers app, hey, y'all, some people couldn't get in, some people couldn't get their emails in, they couldn't log in, network errors, all type of stuff. And you know, it's crazy because I had people asking me, hey, can you still hit for the shoe if you got exclusive access? Now, I was very humble to be able to get exclusive access on this shoe on the sneakers app and it's crazy because in one of the groups on facebook one of the guys that hit for ea he posted today he got that dub again for the same size so it was a possibility that you could get a second dub even though you got exclusive access now i was unable to come through with that second dub but you guys already know your boy gonna have to double up on me so i'm gonna have to pay to play to get my second pair but it is what it is it be like that sometimes in the sneaker community but if you guys haven't yet make sure you guys head over check out the on feet review detailed look at the sneaker as well as i did a comparison over the last years from 2013 all the way up to 2022 with some of the jordans that we had that came out that were that chicago colorway vibe. now moving on to nike man listen sneakers i can't be mad for real i did not get that double up but i've been hitting like crazy on the sneakers app so i can't throw no type of shade at them and that's just me coming from over on this end now this one right here i will say this nike we got to do better when these got delivered yesterday this is how my box was delivered so i've already seen this shoe i wasn't going to do this review and everything today i was going to do this one tomorrow but i just wanted to show you guys i already peeped the shoes out because i wanted to make sure that my shoes was in there and all that good stuff and yeah i got the box and the box was literally oh right here we do have the pair that i want to do the review over and i might go ahead and throw these on feet just depending on how the weather is outside today living over here on the west coast i tell you guys in all my videos i normally get my shoes just a little bit late compared to everybody else especially if people are getting them early and stuff like that and then doing the videos and if they're not coming out here it's a little bit harder to obtain on release day unless you're paying to play Sneakers app coming through with an insane dub for your boy, man. This is my first pair in the collection, man. I don't own any sneakers like this in my collection. So this is going to be my first one. And I have not seen these in hand, of course. So we're going to go ahead and crack these bad boys open. And I'm having a hard time getting the box open. But your boy, super unexpected dub when it came to these right here. And y'all see the box, man. Y'all know what the vibes are. Y'all seeing what we got right here. In a size 10 and a half, my size, straight for the toe. Y'all already know how we rocking, man. We have the Air Jordan Retro 7 trophy rooms, man. I cannot believe I got a dub on these, on this draw. It was the fastest dub I've got on a draw. I ain't hit really, to be honest. I don't even think I've hit on a draw. I think this might be my first draw that I got something that was like insanely hyped up and things like that. And a, and a low count when it came to the sneakers at when it came to these. Now, this shoe paying homage, of course, to the Air Jordan Retro 7, Olympic 7s, 30th anniversary of the of the 7s, and of course, right here, we have the Trophy Room 7s. Now, we're going to go ahead and unbox these things together, and of course, right here in the box, you guys can peep what it says right there. I'll give you guys a close-up of all of that stuff, but we do have the new Sheriff in Town Air Jordan Retro 7 Trophy Rooms, and I'm just excited to see these bad boys. Now, you do get the extra laces in there that come in the bag. I like the fact that they do give you the aglets on both pair. You get gold aglets. I think that that's really tough, and I like the way that they did that. And then, of course, right here, the layout of the basketball court on the clipboard right here, and then you have the teams right here from when Larry Bird and Magic Johnson played the pickup game against Michael Jordan when they were doing the training and everything during the Olympic Games in 1992. And of course, on the back right here, you guys can see 
right here what it reads you guys can pause it zoom in i'll give you guys close-ups of all this stuff so that you guys can pause zoom in if you want to and check it out now it's time to get into these kicks dog Woo! let's look at these bad boys together man look at these things man and i know people have done reviews on these Woo! yes lord y'all yes lord man let's get these things up out of box and we in there yes lord yes lord y'all listen y'all these things are fuego and i'm talking about fire flames y'all hey the materials that they use on these insane man i ain't even gonna lie to you i can't hold it man these are actually fire man and i was like man i wonder how they gonna look I, I was seeing people's videos and i ain't gonna lie i could tell that it wasn't like a true white in the sneaker but just getting them in hand and getting to see the materials how they put them together and Woo, that smell, y'all. Y'all already know these things smell test approved. Let's turn the camera around and get a nice little close-up look at these, man. Now, of course, these being released at the trophy room, Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan, having a trophy room store, I did see a lot of people get dubs down there locally. Now, this one right here is telling a story about his father, and you already know what the vibes are. Now, in collaboration with the trophy room, this pair right here, the Air Jordan Retro 7, being dubbed the new sheriff in town. This colorway right here is paying homage to when Michael Jordan called out hoop legends Larry Bird and Magic Johnson as he would dominate them in Team USA scrimmages during the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. Now these right here are very noticeably compared to the Air Jordan Retro 7 Olympic. Now, taking, taking some of the features from that, of course, looking at that midsole, which there are some different vibes, and I'll show you guys that when I when I show you guys the Olympic 7s in this video, but we do have like a sail type vibe mixed in with the navy blue, and then having that red and gold on there when it comes to the bottom of the sneaker. Still having that classic 7 look down there, and then of course, when it comes to the midsole as well, when you look at that midsole, first glance, you think Olympic 7s. Now, when it comes to the upper, nice suede on these things, man, I'm talking about crazy. You have the Michael Jordan back there on the side, on the outer panels of the sneaker. I do like the features of giving them three laces with the shoe, giving it that red, white, and blue type vibe of the sneaker. Olympic Games, you think red, white, and blue for the United States and competing in the Olympic Games. And then, of course, when you're looking at that lacing system, I do like the fact that they did give you those gold lace holes going around there as well, going all the way up the sneaker. Now, I love the way that they did the tongue. This is crazy how they did the no lace up with these when it came to lacing them up and everything, giving you that Michael Jordan, Air Jordan 1 type vibe with just having that first lace and having it in there. Now you do have the gold jump man on the outer panel of the, of, the, of the sneakers. It's not a middle, it's probably like some type of hard plastic. And then on the back you have the trophy room in place of the number nine, which is normally back there on the Olympic sevens. Of course, paying homage to the Olympics, you got the Olympic ring colors right there on the back of the sneaker right there for the pool tab. I think that was dope as well as on the inside of the sneaker for the sock liner you do have welcome to the family 1992 with the trophy room emblem and again the inside right there having the colors of the olympic rings now i must say that i am really pleased and i'm super happy that i was able to get these for retail not going for no crazy price right now if you ask me and you're looking to try to buy these on the aftermarket it's definitely a really dope sneaker and i love the storytelling that they did on these it's always a vibe when Jordan tells a story on a pair of sneakers and then gives you dope box presentation and all that good stuff. Now in 2012 we did get the Olympic 7s. I'll say that I feel like 2012 was a crazy year for Jordans. I mean we got the Olympic 7s, we got the Olympic 6s that year, we got a whole bunch of Air Jordan 4s that came back that year, military blues, cement fours you know they had it going on that year you feel me and these right here man just crazy super super dope vibes when you're looking at these but i want to let you guys know right here that this is where you guys can see the differences this being a true white and this having kind of like a cell type vibe switching up the jump man down there this one right here has a white jump man on the bottom these right here have a gold jump man on the bottom which you would think that you know olympic gold you would have a gold jump man down there and all that good stuff and then these having that white but again, looking exactly identical, just mixing up the jump man right there. The way that they did the lace tips on these definitely feels like a higher upgraded lace tip. You 
you know, compared to just having that plastic lace tip right here, giving us that jump man right there on the sides and, and having the jump man be more of a plastic hard jump man to stand out on these. And this one just having that regular jump man that gets sewn on on there. And then of course, hitting the back. Now on the back of these, you do have the number nine and on the back of these, you have the trophy room and as well as the pool tab. I'll even go as far to let you guys know that even when you're looking at the tongues, the tongues on these, the tongues are definitely different. The tongue on this pair is a lot thicker and, and, and the materials are just different compared to the way that they did this shoe. Me leaning for the price mark up on these right here and being a collaboration with the trophy room. And you know, the last release that they had when it came to the trophy rooms being the Air Jordan Retro 1, it was a lot of controversy with them backdooring the sneakers and I feel like they gave a lot of people more of the opportunity to get this shoe for retail than they did with the Air Jordan Retro ones. I'm gonna just keep it a buck fifty with that man. I, that I mean, it's quite the obvious that they did that. And I feel like you know a lot of people not really liking sevens or being in the sevens, but of course it being a trophy room collaboration, a lot of people were gonna go after them. So you know I'm I'm really pleased with the way that they delivered this one, and I'm just humbled to finally have a pair of trophy rooms in my collection. Y'all let me know what you guys think of about the trophy room sevens did you guys go after them did you hit are you going to be copping a pair on the aftermarket let me know down in the comment section how everything went with you guys today as far as the release of the lost and found air jordan retro ones are you guys ready for them to bring back the true color way when it comes to having a pair of olympic sevens comment that all down below i know i cannot wait for the olympic sixes to come back i used to have the olympic sixes in my collection unfortunately i don't have them anymore so that is one of the sneakers that i've always been on the hunt and waiting for to come back around and you know i could have went and bought another pair but normally all the shoes they spin back around in due time so i just was like you know i'll hold tight wait get a fresh pair when they drop again but hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all's day stay tuned for the next video i might if you got I did not do an on feet in this video today because I, I mean I was gonna do one but I, I feel like I did enough talking man and y'all have already seen these it's not like they just dropped today and I'm a little late to the game so if you guys want to catch me rocking these shoes make sure you guys head over to Instagram follow your boy the retro whiz kid I will be posting pictures and putting a fit together with these so that's where you guys can catch the on feet look on these y'all already know the vibes man until the next video I will spend some pictures of these for you guys stay tuned out there stay safe out there Peace, love, and Laguna Beach, and we out this thing. Get it! It's a couple Jordan 1 retros, and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never gon' step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, play some bid, and hopefully I can just hit for L.